Hello my fellow developers, hope you all doing alright. In this video, we're gonna try and create this nice yet simple products page where we're gonna have this simple slider with these small images that you can have on them. They get selected with this nice border and they select the others and also they change the main image on the right as you see right here. And when we hover on the main image, we get this nice zoom effect that you have like in with big e-commerce websites like Amazon, eBay and all other great websites. So you really, really need this if you're gonna build an e-commerce website it's gonna really make your website stand out compared to the others it's really really simple so let's just get straight into it so we are going to start with an empty react project as you see right here this is the app to js it's really empty we have only an array of the images that i've used before they are the same images all located in the public folder also we have the app to css where we're gonna write all of our css which is not gonna be that much so we're gonna go back to the app to js and we're gonna start in the app function so we're gonna return we're gonna return a div so we're gonna return a div we're gonna call it for example container and in the container we have two divs we're gonna have the left and also we're gonna have the right and then inside on the left we're gonna have the left one which is gonna contain all the small images of the previews and the left two is gonna contain the main image so we're gonna go to the left one and we're gonna map through all the images simple as that and we're gonna get the index also so we're gonna do this and we're gonna create an image wrap a div I'm gonna give it the key it's gonna be the I the index and inside this we're gonna have the image itself and the source is gonna be the image so now we're gonna have all the images from the array shown in the web application so after that we're gonna go to the left tool and we're gonna have an image which is gonna be the main image and the source for example we just put the first image in the array at the moment and now let's work on the CSS to make this look at least presentable so we're gonna start with some receivers padding zero margin zero box sizing I'm gonna make it border box. So we're gonna go to the body and we want to center everything in the body. So we're gonna give it a height which is gonna be 100 vertical height. And also we're gonna do a display flex, align item center, and justify content center that's gonna center everything in the body. And we're gonna go to the container itself and we're gonna give it a max width. It's gonna be 1200 px margin zero auto to center it from the light and the, the right and the left so we're gonna go display grid and we're gonna go grid template columns and we're gonna have we're gonna repeat two so we're gonna have two columns in the container we're gonna go to the left side the item should be uh, together so we're gonna do a display flex I'm gonna go to the left one and we're gonna have a display flex plus this time for the sm small images they're gonna be uh, a column so we're gonna go flex direction and we're gonna make it a column also we're gonna make the gap 10 px and we're gonna go to the image wrap which is the div that contains the image and we're gonna give it a width of 80 px the height of 80 px and we're gonna go and give it a border we can make this <laughs> border 1 px solid and make it gray and we're gonna give it a cursor pointer and we're gonna go inside this image wrap and select the image inside and we're gonna give it a width of 70 px height of 70 px and we're gonna give it an object fit of contain now everything is all right but we got to this is just the big image uh, on the right so we're gonna control that also we're gonna go to the left two and we're gonna go to the image itself and give it like a fixed width width is gonna be like 500 px and we're gonna go to the height of 100 I'm sorry with 100 an object fit and we're gonna make it contain as you see right here and everything now is working fine as you see if we go here as you see this is the same as we have here this is just the same it was really really simple so now let's go to the next thing now let's work on when we have our any image from here it gets shown in the right place so this is the image on the right we're going to change this from an image and we're going to make it a variable image that we're going to have a state for it so when we change the state it just changes the variable and it's going to be so easy so we're going to go and have a const and we're going to call it image and the sitter is set image and we're going to call the use state from react and we're going to the you know the default value is going to be images zero so it's really simple we're gonna call the use state from react and we don't have it here so we're gonna import it manually use state from react 
so now we have the state right here so if we change now the image and the state it get changed on the right place so now we're gonna do a function when we hover on the element this is the div we're gonna change the image so we're gonna go to the div itself this is the div the image wrap and we're gonna have a function right here on the events on mouse over we can have this function this function we let's call it like hover hover handle handler and we're gonna pass the image and we can pass also the index and we're gonna get an error because the function don't exist yet so we're gonna go cast image equal and we're gonna get the image and the index and this is an error function so this is gonna be really really simple we're just gonna change the set set image and we're gonna set it to the image and now we're done so now when we have on this it changes we have on this it changes let me fix this problem on the it gets up and down let's give it a fixed height and now when we go and when we have on this it changes you know as you see this is one of the easiest parts of the tutorial so now we want when we have any image we add this nice border to it the same as here so we have for anyone and it gets this nice border we're gonna do this easily by an helper class we're gonna call it the active all it does is just add a border simple as that we're gonna like 2px solid and the color is gonna be the same used in the Amazon website so now if we went to the app.js and went to the image wrap class and add active to it active all the images or the div that contains the image is gonna have this nice border but we don't want that we only want the first element to be highlighted like when we refresh the page here we see that only the first one that is highlighted is the same because it's the same image on the right so this first one is gonna be selected automatically without even doing anything so we're gonna do this easily we're gonna we're gonna go here we're gonna take all the class name and we're gonna do a simple test if i equal equals zero that means it's just the first element rendered so it's first image that we render so if it's the first one or well, simply the class name gonna be something this is gonna be something else both of all both of them gonna have the image wrap class but the first one is gonna have active also so now if it's the first it's gonna have the active so when we refresh the first element always gonna be selected until we select another one so now we want to have any of these tips it gets the active class and it gets this nice border and also removes it from any other existing you know classes that have the active class so we're going to use the user ref and we're going to refresh all these divs for these small images it's going to be filed for this particular example it could be more for you so simply we're going to create a variable let's call it refs which is going to be a user ref a user ref that's going to contain an empty array we're going to import the user ref and we don't get it also so we're gonna import it manually and now we're gonna go to inside of this use ref and refs because it reference has the current value and we're gonna set it to an empty array and now we're gonna go to this element and we're gonna reference and we're gonna reference a function that's gonna call it add refs and in this function we're gonna use this to add to the with this current array so we're gonna see if this element already exists we're gonna add it but if it's not existed there we add it now so it's gonna be really really simple const it's gonna be an l function and equal we're gonna get the element and all we're gonna do is check if the element exists and it's not included so we're gonna go refs.current.includes and we're gonna see if it includes the elements if not we're gonna just add it we're gonna go refs dot current dot push and we're gonna push the elements and now in the handle hover already we have you know this we have the same is gonna have the same index as the the image that we pass so simply we can go and we can go like to the refs dot current and we're gonna go to the element of the index i and we're just gonna go to the class list and we're gonna add the active class so now if we went and have any div is gonna get you know the active class added to it simply but as you see the problem is we're gonna add it to everyone we want to when we add to this one we're gonna remove it from all the others so it's gonna be also really simple we're gonna just have for loop var g starting from zero is smaller than images dot length and we're gonna go g plus plus i always mix them up i'm using g because i already used i so now first of all we're gonna check that it's not the same index for the eng so we're gonna e different than g so we're gonna do it for all of them so we don't remove it from all the five we're gonna remove it only from the 
uh, the rest of the four. So we, we go here and also we go to refs dot current g and we just remove. I'm sorry, but remove the active class attribute. So now if we went and refresh the page, if we add it here, uh, <laughs> let me let me uh, check what I did wrong. So add. Yes, we have to add class list right here. Dot remove. So now we refresh this. If we hover on this, it gets selected and it's removed from the other one. And this is just what we really want. It's really, really simple and easy and it's not that hard. And now we finish everything about the list part. Now only the zoom effect needed to complete this tutorial. So to do this, we're going to use an APM package that called React Image Magnify. So we're going to go to the code editor to the console. I'm going to write in pim install and we're gonna write react image magnify and we're gonna wait and if we get this uh, this error just add force dash 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 force and we're gonna wait until it installs and we're gonna go to the websites like this is the basic example that we're gonna use you can just click on the source code all you're gonna do is just first of all is take the import part you just add it in the beginning and also we're going to use this so we're going to take this react react magnify and we're going to use this instead of this image right here in the left too and in the source of the image we're just going to have the image same there is no problem we're going to use it here and here we can go and see what's the problem here cannot resolve react image magnify there is some problem let's go here So, um, I think, yes, there's a problem because it's going to be react image and it's going to be magnify. I know I have a problem in the source code. Now, if we hover on this image, we get the zoom effects. As you see, this is the basic, uh, most basic example, as you see, and it's going to have the same width and height of the original image. So this is the one. If you want to have like a bigger one and you can control all that, you can go to the website and go to this like, let's go to this one and we're going to go to the source code and we're just going to add this. And if we add this to our project, let's go here. And this is give you the, uh, you know, the option, you know, to change the width and the height in percentage. For example, the width, let's make it 150% and also the height 150% for example and you go back to your project and it gets zoomed so it's a really really you know easy thing to integrate to your website and it's this is just the story this is uh, as easy as it gets you can control all of this and you can see all the other example that suits you and suits your needs so hope you enjoyed the tutorial and i'm sorry for the sound quality i don't know something wrong with my mic it's expensive but something wrong with it so i'm sorry for that and see you in the next tutorials